Hey YouTube, today we will be doing a simple test to test your power supply unit or PSU. We're going to test it to see if it's working. Now, in order to do this, you'll need some simple tools. One, you'll need a paper clip or some form of conductive wire that's able to carry an electrical charge. Two, you'll need a power supply tester and that can be found there's a link in the description below all right let's get started now sometimes you'll realize that your pc is not powering up now if your pc is not powering up one of the main causes that can cause this is your power supply unit and it's on the inside of the case so you're going to go ahead and remove the power supply now quick test if you don't have this handy test on hand just as yet you can actually troubleshoot it by looking for the 24 pin connector or 20 pin if you remove this one and what you're gonna do is you're gonna look for the only green lead that's coming or connected to the unit all right and you're gonna take the paper clip and you're gonna insert it into the green lead next you're gonna take the other end and you're gonna connect it to any of the following black um, leads so you simply just look for a black lead and um, you connect it now let's check your work so remember you're gonna connect a green lead that's our the electrical wire here with any black wire here now what's gonna happen here is gonna do something similar to what your case does so if I trip this switch as you can see it's in the off mode I turn it on theoretically it should power on now this is a quick way to test your power supply so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna uh, see if this works all right all right as you can hear if you listen very carefully you'll notice that the power supply is now on it's running all right now if your power supply powers on you're gonna realize that okay it might be good so you might go ahead and um, do some troubleshooting I have um, place a link to my blog if you go on there I have the full set of troubleshooting tips you can run through now let's power this off now if you want to test to actually see if it's efficient and if all the components are actually working and it's delivering the right amount of energy what you're gonna do is you're gonna First, you're gonna connect the 24 pin. Mm -hmm. You see, it's a snug fit. Now it's gonna do similar to what the paper clip did. All right, we're gonna power on the unit. As you can see here, all the LEDs on this side are, are lit up. Now, according to instructions here if it's if the 24 pin here is functioning correctly you should have a plus 3.3 volt um, charge you should have the 12 volt pg and the other um, leds coming on now look at here if you notice the negative 5 volt is off now the reason why this is off is not because the power supply is faulty but that's an old standard that is not used anymore with power supplies so chances are this will not power on so ignore this one so all the lights should come on except the negative five um negative five volts as you can see here right so as you can see here this is telling me that this power supply the 24 pin connector is working fine as all the leds are on except the negative five volt now if you test and you realize that any other um, lights are off it would indicate that this power supply the 24 pin connector is not working correctly and you should change the power supply unit i also have a guide to selecting the right voltage and a correct power supply on my block all right now simply I'll power it off again this time we're going to actually test the HDD power molex. You can see here we plug it in. 
this time again we're going to pour it on but instead of paying attention to this side we're going to look on this side over here and if the if the HDD Molex is working you should get a plus 12 volt um, LED light and also you should get a plus 5 volt LED light All right? that tells me that is working so I'm going to remove it next I'm going to test my SATA power um, connector as you can see again I'm getting the two LEDs that will indicate that the SATA is delivering efficient power the 12 volt along with the 5 volt alright I'm going to disconnect that and then I'm going to test the 4 pin connector this section over here on the test I can test both 4, 6 and 8 pin alright, 6 pin would go here, the 4 pin would go here as I have in my hand and the 8 pin would fit over here now as you can see here I'm going to test the 4 pin alright, now the only lead on the left side that should come on for the 4, 6 or 8 pin is the plus 12 volt LED now that indicates that this 4 pin connector is working last but not least we test the floppy connector now nobody uses the floppy this floppies anymore but just in case you want to be thorough you can go ahead get your um, floppy connector and simply connect it there as you can see again the LEDs you're looking for for this would be the positive um, 12 volt and the positive 5 volt LEDs now as you can see here according to my test um, this power supply unit is fully functional so if this was inside of my PC and, and it's not working correctly or not pouring on I mean no positive that this is not the issue and I could move my search on to other components you can go over to my blog I have a full details on how to actually do this test in detail there's full pictures you can use and um, the instructions are in you can leave a comment or ask for help I'll be glad to pitch in and assist you alright so the link is in the description and uh, you can do that thank you very much bye